Now, uh, a couple of years ago, you released a song for a video game, a really successful one here in Mexico, that is FIFA uh, 2009. Do you have plans to put one of your songs in another uh, video game soon or no? Or you didn't like the idea at all? Uh, or you didn't know about it? <laughs> it w well, it wasn't our idea. I, mean, okay. I think the video game appro approached us um, and we were happy you know, to, to let them use it. Um, it's a, you know, I I'm a fan of video games. Yeah, so we're working on a soundtrack to uh, Angry Birds 2 at the moment. So. <laughs> yeah. Cool. And now, talking, talking, one of my favorite singles of this uh, album was Take Me Over. Can you tell us a little bit uh, the story behind that song? Um, I guess the idea of the song was sort of just um, dreaming of, of being in another place. Um, I guess working on the record, often you're sort of locked away in a studio and, you know, it's quite a... Um, yeah sort of it's almost like studying for an exam or something you know you're sitting there with your um, instruments and, and recording equipment and it's it's quite a introverted process and I think that that song was just sort of you know dreaming about other places and and kind of dreaming of being somewhere else on an adventure um, I guess. Now uh, Sonoscope is have us an, an amazing cover um, it was your idea, or did you uh, knew about the artist, and then you get interested, or the artist like do it and show you to to you the work, and you say, okay, we can use it. How was the story of this cover? Um, it's just, I guess that uh, cover image was, was one that I'd just come across um, in, I guess, I think it was like a an architecture blog or something really weird like that, and um, and then I kind of hunted down the image. It was like in a um, a sort of compilation of, of um, different photo montage artworks by this artist um, who's a Japanese artist working in the 70s and um, I fell in love with the image so much that um, we thought we should try and find um, the artist see if we can get permission to use it and so we I guess through all of our connections uh, eventually got in touch with and found the publisher for the image and, and, and uh, they were happy for us to use it so um, it was sort of fantastic in the end and there it was a strange connection we found out afterwards that um, he'd actually done the cover for another Australian band, Midnight Oil, yeah. in the early 80s, Red Sails in the Sunset, which is a classic Australian yeah. record. Um, so it's kind of appropriate, I guess, that another Australian band uses his artwork as well. Awesome. And now, talking precisely that you have a lot of fans here in Mexico, can you sign this, this record to one of your fans? We're going to... Uh, give it uh, later in the show. It's great that you release. It's important to release this kind of material, right? Because it's it's a, like a collection, and in the last probably ten years, it's more popular than probably the CDs. Yeah, we're we're a massive um, fan of the the vinyl format. We we buy a lot of secondhand records when we go touring around the world. We both, we all have big collections of records, so. Yeah, it's in, it's essential that we release our records on on vinyl. For cool. Sure. Now uh, you also have released uh, uh, remixes for uh, different songs of different artists. You did Kaiser Chiefs. You did Maroon Five. You did Can't Say For Say Sexy. Do you have plans to to do another remix soon? Yeah, I mean, there's not like specific um, songs in mind. I guess we spent so much time working on this album that. Um, I guess I stopped working on remixes for a while because usually the remixes are sort of my um, area. And um, I guess now that we're touring again, it'd be good to get back into it because I think touring can often be quite repetitive and um, you know it's amazing being out and doing shows all the time, but sometimes you lose the creative side of your brain um, just through sort of playing and you know late nights and partying and that kind of thing. So uh, I'm looking forward to getting back to doing some remixes at some stage. But is there any remix that somebody else did or one of your songs that really you like it? Yeah, well, there was a, a remix recently um, for Need You Now, the last single that um, Architecture in Helsinki did. And um, I guess it's, it's actually probably more than a remix in some ways. It's almost like a, you know, it's been totally changed, the song from, um, I guess, how it appears on the record into like this weird sort of 50s Roy Orbison type ballad um, it's kind of amazing you've got to hear it to, to really sort of you know be able to understand what an amazing um, effort it is but um, but yeah that's that's definitely a standout of the remixes that we've had on this record well thank you very much it's an honor to talk with you uh, congratulations because of the album good luck when you start the creating process for the new one and good luck for for the show I know it's gonna be amazing what could you say not for all of your fans in Mexico but in the whole Latin America 
Well, thank you for supporting us. Thanks for coming to our shows and buying our records, and, and hopefully we'll get back um, very soon. Pues bueno, Germán. Oh, yeah, gracias. Gracias. How's your Spanish doing? He's <laughs> doing so good. good. He's, he's better than mine. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, de nada, hermano. Ya lo vieron, hermanos. Gran banda, Cut Copy. Pues bueno, ya nos despedimos. Esto fue Soundcheck. Hay que le sea leve. Chao. Awesome, bro. Thank you.